Salmon and rice sounds like a sushi date night, but in the rice fields just outside of Sacramento, it's a different relationship. Look at them all. Oh, they're happy fish. One that becomes more symbiotic and matures over time. Pat, we had them as eggs and then they hatched on November 20th. Now these salmon are ready to head out into the world, a chance they may not have had on their own as warmer, drier climate moves in. The area around the river is a natural floodplain, and that's where the salmon used to move up, up the valley. And we're just kind of trying to recreate that natural floodplain and give the, the salmon a place to, to, to grow. Local farmers Steve Nieder, UC Davis the researchers, the and the Rice Commission are all working together to keep the salmon and rice afloat. The name of the game for salmon at this stage is to get as big as possible, as fast as possible. Uh, the bigger you get, the faster you can swim, so the more things that you can evade. Once the salmon are done in the rice fields, they move through this drainage in a two-inch hole underneath the ground and through this drainage pipe through a canal that leads straight to the Sacramento River and into the ocean. For the salmon, it's a fighting chance. For the rice, it's nutrients and fertilizer from the 7 to 10 million duck and geese that also use the land. And so we think the trade-off says that those spring diversions provide much more value for the environment and for the economy than keeping that water in the river. After levees and bypasses were built to combat devastating floods, water was cut off to the floodplains. The Salmon Project hopes to study salmon growth and their journey of survival into the ocean. As a result, there's really no safe haven for the fish to go. They're subject to predators. There's no food source, so they basically starve. Research shows salmon in fields have four and a half times the survival rate than rivers alone and produce up to 149 times more food for salmon. With only a few inches of water needed over these clay bathtub-like soils, little water is lost. So they, you know, go out to the ocean and they come back and this is where we would want them to spawn. It's a relationship that brings more than just salmon and rice to a date night.